This is a really quick introduction to Unpaywall, which is a useful tool for finding open access versions of the same article. Here's an example. If I open Firefox browser here, I have an article that I was looking at moments ago, which I want to read. Unfortunately, this is only an abstract form with a preview of the first two pages. What I want to do is I want to read the whole thing. When I look to the left here, I can see that the article is available for 30 euros, which I'm not inclined to pay. I could also go to interlibrary loans here, but if I know I can get it for free from somewhere, I'd certainly rather do that. And this is what Unpaywall does. It searches, it searches for open access sources for the same article. Unpaywall is an extension that can be added to Firefox and to Google Chrome. And we can add it to Chrome in this way, add extension, and we find that it's added. And we're looking at the same article here, and we can find if we refresh this page now, what has appeared here is a little padlock, a little green padlock that is unlocked. This means that the article is available for free somewhere else. If I click on it, it brings me to archive.org, which is a, uh, an open access repository. And here the article can be accessed very easily. With Firefox, you can add unpaywall to Firefox, add to Firefox, install, and again, if we visit the article, we see that suddenly there is an open padlock here, and we can click on that, and it brings us to our free version of the article. I've browsed to another article here now, but this does not apparently have a free version that can be seen by the unpaywall tool, and the padlock therefore is closed and in a grey tab. This tool I hope you'll find useful. I would try it before contacting interlibrary loans for any articles that you might require, as this might get you what you want more quickly. If you want to make your article freely available online, then contact us about putting your items on the repository here at WIT.